morning, first graders. Chapter 8, The Attack of Super Librarian. After a million hundred years, hours, we were able to capture Wilbur the Rat and get him back inside his cage. Okay, it's time for math, said Rat Man. I mean, Mr. Cooper. No, not math, anything but math. Why do we have to learn math? Isn't that why they invented calculators? I love math, said Andrea. Math is fun. What is her problem? Why can't a truck full of math books fall on her head? I wanted to go to Antarctica and live with the penguins. This was the worst thing to happen since TV turn off week. Turn to page 23 in your book, said Mr. Cooper. Does anybody have any questions? I do, I said. How old are rocks? Who was the first person to drink milk from a cow? Why don't we have fall and spring Olympics? Who invented sandpaper? What is the color of the White House? Math questions, AJ, said Mr. Cooper. Do you have any questions about math? Yes, I said. Why do we have to learn math? Mr. Cooper looked mad. I think he was going to say something mean to me, but he never got the chance because you'll never believe who ran into the door at that moment. Nobody. You'd have to be crazy to run into a door. I thought we went over that already. But you'll never believe who ran into the doorway. It was a lady dressed up in a superhero costume. She had a big L on her cape. She was wearing a mask over her eyes. But she looked a lot like our librarian, Mrs. Rupee. Oh no, shouted Mr. Cooper. My arch enemy is here. What do you have against arches, I asked. Everybody laughed even though I didn't say anything funny. It is I, announced the lady as she struck a superhero pose. Super librarian. You look a lot like Mrs. Rupee, said Andrea. Rupee? asked the masked lady. Never heard of her. I am super librarian. She really looked a lot like Mrs. Rupee to me. Oh yeah? What superpowers do you have? asked Alexia. I can log in books and check them out at super speed, said Super Librarian. And I have memorized the entire Dewey Decimal System. Pick a number and I will tell you what books go with that number. Number 796, shouted Ryan. You will find books about sports in 796, replied Super Librarian. She's right, shouted Ryan. She really does have superpowers. She does not, said Neil. I bet lots of librarians know the Dewey Decimal System. Well, I can leap over a giant stack of books in a single bound, said Super Librarian. That's not such a big deal, said Michael. Oh yeah, said Loop Super Librarian. Well, I can shelve books with one hand. No way, we all shouted. It's impossible to shove a book with one hand. You need one hand to move the other books aside and your second hand to slip the book into its place. Watch this, said Super Librarian. She went over to the bookcase and put one hand behind her back. Then she pulled out a book from the shelf and slipped it between the books on another shelf using just one hand. Wow, everybody said. Which is mom upside down. Your powers are indeed strong, super librarian, said Mr. Cooper. But why are you here? I have come to get your overdue library books, said super librarian. I don't have any overdue library books, said Mr. Cooper. Oh no, said super librarian as she ran back to the bookcase, pulled out a book and waved it in the air. Then what's this? That's, um, I mean, um, it's overdue, shouted Super Librarian. If you borrow something, it's important to return it. So now you must pay for your crimes against humanity. But I just started working here. No buts, shouted Super Librarian. Everybody started giggling because Super Librarian said buts, which sounds just like, even though it only has one T. I thought she was going to make Mr. Cooper pay a fine for his overdue library book, but that's not what happened at all. Instead, the weirdest thing in the history of the world happened. The two of them started fighting!
And there is a picture. Oh, look at that super librarian. Mr. Cooper and super librarian squared off and began to do karate chops and kicks at each other. It was cool. Oof, yelled Mr. Cooper. Take that, yelled super librarian, and that. Everybody was yelling and screaming and hooting and hollering. Man, that lady is really serious about overdue library books, said Ryan. Mr. Cooper did one of those spinning leg kicks, but super librarian blocked it and he fell on the floor. It was exciting. We were all glued to our seats. Well, not really. Why would anybody glue themselves to a seat? That would be weird. How would you get the glue off? I don't approve of all this violence, said Andrea. It's, it's a bad example for children. What do you have against violins, I asked. Not violins, Arlo, said Andrea. Violence, I don't approve of violence. Can you possibly be more boring, I asked. After a few more vicious karate chops and kicks, Mr. Cooper fell down again. Super Librarian jumped on top of him and pinned him to the floor. Say, uncle, shouted Super Librarian. Uncle, groaned Mr. Cooper. Super Librarian got up off Mr. Cooper and helped him stand up. I'll take this book back to the library where it belongs, said Super Librarian. I'm sorry it was overdue, said Mr. Cooper. Hmm. I accept your apology, said Super Librarian. See that it doesn't happen again. And I hope you kids will be sure to always return your books to the library. If you don't, you will face the wrath of Super Librarian. Then she picked up the overdue book and dashed out of the room. Mrs. Rupee is loopy.